You saw the thumbnail. I've only reviewed a few propeller planes on this channel, so let's add one more. In Topaw, apparently that's how it's pronounced, McDonald's has a DC-3 parked at their restaurant. So let's see what's cooking there in this totally serious flight review. McDonald's isn't the first fast food restaurant to enter the airline business. Hooters had an airline back in the day. Hooters girls on every flight. All leather seats with extra legroom. McDonald's' response is in the town of Topaw on the North Island of New Zealand, voted the coolest McDonald's in the world. Flights only operate from 9am to 4.30pm, though the terminal is open 24-7, and there's only one aircraft in service. This DC-3 was manufactured in 1943 and saw service during the Second World War. After the war, it flew with numerous New Zealand passenger and cargo airlines. It ended its traditional career as an agricultural aircraft, making that last flight in 1984. For six years it stood as an advertisement for a car dealership, but that's not befitting of such a storied aircraft. Fortunately, when McDonald's bought the land, they kept the plane and refurbished it for passenger service. I found no way of purchasing tickets online, so I walked into the terminal. I could either have gone to the ticket counter or use the automated machine. I didn't see any destinations available, but I did see a spicy habanero McChicken, which I ordered along with a drink. I believe these are not available in the US, but I can't recall the last time I ordered an entree at a McDonald's. I wasn't sure if this would code as travel or dining, so I used my Chase Sapphire Reserve with no foreign transaction fee for 3 times points on both. One could either receive your order prior to boarding or be served on the aircraft. I elected to pick up my meal myself and made my way to the plane. Boarding was via the staircase towards the rear. It appears as though I wasn't paying attention though and boarded with families and small children. There was open seating and I selected a seat on the left side of the aircraft. The cabin is configured in a very generous 1-1 configuration, with half of the seats facing rearwards for some reason. There is a fixed tray between the seats, and I can only imagine how awkward it is should a stranger be sitting across from you. You'll want to avoid the last two pairs of seats towards the rear of the aircraft, which lack windows. I've criticized various seats for lack of storage, but Air McDonald's is the worst by far. There's no overhead bins or storage under the seat in front of you. What are you supposed to do with your luggage? There's also no entertainment, Wi-Fi, or charging ports. Really not competitive in 2020. Fortunately, I didn't have to make sure that my tray was in the upright and locked position, so I was able to eat my chicken sandwich. It was so right, honestly. It was on the spicy side, after all, and was a little soggy, but was a solid plain meal. And better than the burger I had had in KLM business class, for sure. <laughs> After my meal, I noticed we still hadn't even begun to taxi. With no fastened seatbelt sign, I went up to the cockpit to have a look. And I realized nobody was actually flying the thing. Oh well, what a very curious airline indeed. Having finished my meal and clearly not going anywhere anytime soon, I deplaned. So Air McDonald's' DC-3 service from Topaw to, well that's the point, isn't it? Flavortown? I wouldn't recommend it for your intra-New Zealand flying, Air New Zealand's service network is much more extensive and actually goes places. But it's a decent meal on a plane and a great chance to see such an important historic aircraft still in service. Have you flown on Air McDonald's before or have another such airline I should try? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, if you like this video click that button and please subscribe for many more actual flight reviews. I'll see you on the next one.